So anyone that has been in 3D for a while knows that there are multiple different ways of making a head within Blender. You can poly model or box model as some people call it. You can sculpt uh, such as I'm doing right now. Uh, and typically these techniques are used for different styles. If you want something more high resolution in high quality, you go for sculpting. But if you wanted something more low poly, maybe you would do uh, some, some box modeling. And I'm sure you could probably make something really high quality uh, with box modeling. Um, but typically, if you want something low poly, you box model. If you want something high poly, you sculpt. That is, that is, sort, of, that is sort of the norm. But why don't we try and break those norms? Today I'm going to try and sculpt the best possible human head I can using only one UV sphere. Let's give that a try. So this does not count. So if we turn on our statistics up here, it says that this face is 24,000. Nope, that's way too much. We are sculpting a low poly head using only one UV sphere. So shift A, get the sphere. And this is the only thing we're allowed to use. We are not using Remesh, we're not using Subdiv or Multivis or Dine or Dine Topo. We're not using any of it. So yes, one sphere, 512 faces, no remesh, no edit mode, nothing. The only thing we're allowed to use is our sculpting tools to achieve the best face we can. Let's get into it. Of course, we're going to turn symmetry on and start to bring in the face, bring this up and bring this down. There is our basic head shape. And just to see the topology, because we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to turn white on to see the topology better, to understand what we're making uh, and where the topology is. So there's a lot of faces at the back here. And we need to consider, we need to add uh, detail for the nose, for the mouth. Uh, and I doubt we'll have enough topology to do the eyes, but we could at least make the brow and sort of the socket the eye sits in. I think to start off, we're gonna start dragging all of this topology on the back to the front. And at some parts of this, it's gonna look really messy but that is fine, because we can fix it later. This is the normal smooth brush. I always turn smooth brush to about, to about 0.25 for now. Uh, and then while we're here, I'm going to quickly bring out the neck. So again, no edit tools, so I'm going to use the mask. And we're just gonna bring down, I think, two. So control I, so M to uh, get the mask brush, control I to invert it, click G, gets your grab brush and you can just drag this down. There are times where this is going to look very messy, it's fine, trust the process, keep going. Look at reference if you need to. Um, right now I'm not looking at reference, if I if I uh, get a little bit stuck later on, I, I, may, I may go ahead and do that. And now we're going to sort of assess our situation, assess what we have here. We have a decent head shape, we have a start of a jawline, but we're going to start thinking about where this topology needs to go so we can add the features at the front. We're going to smooth out the face. Uh, we, we've already brought all of the topology from the back of the head to the front of the head. So after we smooth it out, we're going to have a blank canvas to then pull out all of the facial features as well as the ears uh, to get going uh, making this head. Okay, we have this. Brief for the neck, I'm going to have one for the jaw. Just one. And that's fine because even though I'm only having one for the jaw here, 
I will be able to use, so the lips are only going to use this much of the three lines, which means I can spread these lines out and sort of construct more of the jaw with the leftover topology that's over here. So this definitely will be the mouth here. And just to make it look a little bit better, we're going to bring this down to make that an M. I'm going to bring this down as well. I'm going to bring these down. And pull these back because the mouth, again, the mouth is curved. It curves around your head. It doesn't just sit flat. And this here is going to be the back of our ear, right there. Which means that is also going to be our jawline. Um, I'm going to bring it out here. We can always change it if we need to. But this is our ear for now. Okay, not bad. We are getting some of that. So it has a little bit too narrow at the top. Let's bring this out. So now let's think about this. We want our nose. So we want this piece here to stay there. I want to bring it down a bit because the gap between your nose and your lips isn't that big. Yeah, I want this bit to be the base of the nose, and this line will be the piece that comes out. And we will stretch that out a bit, push it in at the top. Already we have our basic nose, but we, we can do better than that. So we're getting a, a quite decent shape for the nose, you know, this is going to be the ridge which sort of inherently gives us our, um, our eye sockets and our brow. So there, pull this in, this is our socket. I think the chin is just a little bit too wide, so we're going to bring this in. And in a minute, I'm going to grab the, uh, the surface part of the smooth brush and I'm going to just give this topology a big tidy up. So this is the brow here, this piece of topology, which means we can use this one to go in a little bit. And then we're going to give ourselves a little indent here for the part of the lip. I'm going to bring this in a little bit more as well. So by this point, you should be able to see how the face is really, really coming together. It's 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 very tedious, um, which is probably why people prefer to uh, <laughs> poly model this stuff and not sculpt it. But that's but that's why I'm doing it. I'm doing it for the challenge. So the ears should be in between the eyes and the nose, which they sort of are, so we're going to put that. In, in, in all though, I think the head's too wide, so we're going to just squish it down a little bit, and the, the jaw is a little, a little bit too, too square. We're already going to have quite a square jaw anyway, because we only have that one piece of topology here, which is why at first I wanted the two, so I could um, give it a bit more of a, a curved edge. Okay, so the facial features. A little bit too wide. We need to bring them in. Jaw is still very, very square. I would like to fix that up quite a bit. I'm going to have this piece come in a little bit. Smooth it out.
I'm really trying to build up the uh, the structure of the face right now. So this is going to take a minute before it starts looking good. Bring in the eyes like that, and you sort of want to imagine that you're looking you're looking at a skull. you're wanting to know the facial structure this is why I think this is a really good um, a really good challenge for everyone to try because it makes you think about how a human face is actually constructed and I think it's better if you start that reference and then if you really really begin to struggle then go in and be like okay let's let's reevaluate here so right now I've not used reference at all, just yet, but I think in a minute, just to make sure I've got everything right, I'm going to pull up the reference image uh, and go into a time lapse mode and just really smoothen out the, the, uh, the features. And I promise to stop it if I think there's anything of value of which I could add, but right now it's just a lot of tedious work going around, cleaning up some of the facial features um, and the facial structure. So I, I will see you in a minute. And I, again, I'll stop if there's anything I think that needs to be mentioned.
Okay, I think this is going to be where we're leaving it. So you've seen me uh, start the process. I've taken all of the topology from the back of the head. I brought it around the front and I've created an ear and all the features. Um, is it perfect? No, it's not going to be because you're working with one sphere. Uh, I'm not using edit mode, no remesh, no sub diff. That's the challenge, we're working from one UB sphere. There you go, there is your proof that uh, we started from one sphere, one sphere only, uh, aside from the actual video. But you can see that we can morph the head straight into uh, the sphere straight after, so it fits perfectly. So there's three main reasons why I wanted to make this video. One, I thought it'd be a really fun challenge. Uh, two, I think it's a great exercise for practicing your head anatomy. And the third reason is when you're sculpting, it's always good to get as much detail as you can with the amount of topology you have before moving up a subdivision. And I think that this challenge does a great job at showing just how much you can sculpt with just one basic UV sphere. If you would like to see me create more things, then I'd appreciate it if you gave this video uh, a like and subscribe. And perhaps I could create a bunch of other videos such as tutorials, challenges, maybe some videos showing some more complex sculpting rather than just a human head. Perhaps we could do a full character sculpt or something like that. Anyway, thank you for watching.